Hello and greetings from Serpent Consulting Services Private Limited. Welcome to a yet another product video. Different institutions or businesses may have different ways of managing their employees. Related to that, we have developed a module known as HR Attendance Overtime Module, which includes different rules to manage your employees' attendance. So let us see one by one the functionality of the module. Here you can see a check-in window. This will help the employee to manually check in once he is starting the day, once he comes to the office. So once he clicks on this, you can see the employee has checked in at the particular time. Okay, for the attendance rules, we have set four different rules. There is an overtime rule, latent rule, absence rule, different time rules. So let me show you the overtime rules first. Overtime rule is a rule where you can define if an employee is doing overtime to the time that you have specified. Like if you're working for eight hours a day and if the employee is working for nine hours or 10 hours and you want to give, uh, you want to pay him more or you want to give him a reward, you can set the rules here. Or if an employee is working on a holiday or on weekends when you are not working and the employee is working, let's say he's coming to the office or even remotely he's working. So you can pay him, you can set the rule accordingly. You can see I have set two here. You can see the first one is the holiday, the type is holiday. You can see apply after like 40. 40 is the hours and how much do you want to pay him? Like after 40 hours, if he's walking, if it's 41. So you can say, you will pay him 50 more per hour. Similarly, it's for weekend. Like he's working for, uh, for more than five hours. You can set the rate for 60. You can set however you want it. You can set the uh, hours according to you. You can set the rate. Another rule is for the latent rules for the late comer. You can see I have set one. You can see if it's coming late by half an hour and so, you can see the type is fixed and the rate and the amount is like 20. Like this is going to get cut from your salary. If the person is coming late to the set time, if your set time is 10 o'clock and if it's coming after 10.30, so you can see you can set the amount in which will be deducted accordingly if you want to give them a punishment for coming late. Similarly, it's for absence rules. If you have not, uh, sorry, if you have not set any leaves and you want to send absence times without, if they are uh, not coming to the office without informing or something, you can set the rules. Like for the first time, you will be charging him five for the second, 10, third, 20, and so on. You can set all those rules however you want. The different time rules is the difference between the check-in time, the actual check-in time that you have set, and the actual sign-out time you have checked. Oh, sorry, actual check checkout time that you have set, and the one which is the actual time for when the employee is signing in or signing out. Let's, for an example, let's say that you have set it for 10 o'clock to 5 o'clock and the person is coming at 11 and signing it at 4. So you know the difference. So you can just set it, sorry, the time is like, let's say 1 hour. And the rate is 10. Like, let's say if the different sign-in time is one hour, so you'll punish him for the rate. Similarly, if it is for, if it's coming early, so you can pay him more. Attendance policies. Uh, combining all those rules that I've told you just now, you can set a policy. There's already one here. You can see attendance policy for this particular financial year. Let's say the overtime rule that I've created is this the different time rule similarly the rate latent rule and absence rule all these policies will be considered 
when you are calculating attendance for the particular employee. And this will help you to generate a pay slip and you'll understand how much salary will be has to be deducted or you have to pay him more. <clears throat> okay, let's move on to attendances. You can see attendance here. You will see the data of the employee. You will just see the employee's name and when he has checked in. So this is the one that I've checked in right now. I'll show you another employees. Look, you can see there's a check-in for at 7.20. Check out just like two microseconds after. Uh, okay, there's one here. Like he, uh, he came at 5.9 and then he left at 5.30. So similarly, you can see it for all those employees efficiently here. So you know what if there is any issue in calculating attendance and payslip for them. Similarly, you'll be able to see attendance sheet. Okay, I have created one for an employee. Okay, there. you can select the employee from the drop down here. You can select the period. I have selected it for one week. I want to know the attendance for this particular employee for the period of one week in the month of December 2019. You can see the day. The plan signed, is, signed in is the one which you have set it for the company, for the entire company, for all the employees. The actual sign in is when the employee is coming. So this will help you to calculate if there is any overtime, if there is any late, if or if it is not come or something. And you can get the calculation here by itself in the attendance sheet. You can see the latent will be calculated, the overtime, the difference, and the total will be calculated. Let's say five hours, six hours, eight hours, whatever, and the status. If it's present, it will obviously show present. If he has, if it's not come, there will be absent. So this is for one week. Okay, so for the, the calculated attendance, the analysis will be here. For the entire week, how many overtime hours are there? If there are two overtime, like uh, he has he has sat for, he sat two more uh, two times more than the actual hours. Similarly, the total overtime hours will be like if you're sitting for two and a half hours more for the entire week. So it will be calculated here. The latent similar to the overtime. You can see the number of late and the total latent, the number of absence. Uh, this is showing uh, zero, zero because I have manually checked in. If you connect it to a live thing, all this will be calculated and the difference time. So you will get very efficient and very calculated data for the attendance, and this is very helpful for calculating the salary which will be given by you to the uh, employee so you can create a payslip directly from here and this is already approved once the attendance sheet is calculated by the concerned person let's say the manager of that employee it can go for approval to the higher level of the authority okay okay so similarly employees you can see employees that are planned you can manage all your employees in one page like you can create if there is a new employee here all those work information of the employee the department job position the job title the manager of the same the private information of the employee which is required of course and the hr settings you can do everything uh, let me show you a created one already is created already okay so you can add the photo of the employee you can see all those uh, details here if there are any contracts if you have paid any pay slips is it active is it present or absent what are the leaves left if you are assigning leaves like legal leaves sick leaves you can see it here all those information you can see here the private information the nationality and everything. Oh, sorry. You can set all of this in this particular employee form. 
Okay, another thing is the Koisk mode. Uh, wherein your uh, you can scan the employee can scan if you have a badge or something. This needs needs to be integrated with the hardware. Okay, so let's see the reporting. Okay. Okay, you can have reports of different uh, structures. You can see according to the employee, you can have the working hours. This particular data is for the working hours. You can have it for the count. You can have it in different views. Like this is for November month. This is for the April. This is for November for the different employee. You can add different filters like Oh, if an employee wants to see his particular detail, if you want to set a particular check-in date, you can select the quarter, the year, month, etc. If you want to group by, you can group it by the employee. Okay. Uh, that's it for the video. Uh, if you have any questions related to this, please email us at contact at the Thank you for watching. Have a great day.